Hi guys, Rob B46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We are off to Assen for the next one, and then we're off to Kimi Ring after that. Let's see how we go. Seven laps at Assen. Dry? Yeah, it's dry. Good. Good job we're not doing qualifying because we'd be last anyway. Right, let's go. Okay then, this is going to be a very, very difficult race, I think. We are going to, um, to struggle. But... We'll see. See what we can do from the back. Okay. Alright, we're away. Tell you what, that was a pretty decent start already up the third. Oh, sorry Alish, I wasn't trying to get through them, but you forced me nearly onto the grass. Oh Christ, come on lads, you can go quicker than that. They still catch me off guard with how slow they go sometimes, especially on this first lap. I'm up in one just a little bit. I can't remember if it was here where we struggled for fuel last season. I've gone for power mapping one just just for a little bit of a lap just to make sure we got enough. I was, oh, nearly lost it. I'll say that was a horrible angle I went in at. Alright, pan up in two again. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Fabio to be so slow through. Disturbant last lap. Step out a little bit there. Yeah, Kimi Ring, the next race is usually a difficult one as well. We shouldn't need to worry too much about tyres around here. Just because it's not, you know, track temperature isn't too high. No. Cut the corner. Okay. Gap's going up, nearly two seconds. Feeling okay on the Yamaha, not feeling, you know, completely comfortable, but we're doing all right for the time being. Just 
too hot into that. We didn't cut the corner that time. Gap sitting at about two seconds. Quattraro still in second, Elysian third on the Aprilia. Very wide on the exit there. moment there. That was better through there. Oh, for the uh, front nearly go then. Tell you what, the gap has come down. Could see a uh, fastest lap of the race. Oh, coming from Fabio. That was terrible. The Yamaha is not wanting to turn into corners at the moment. It was right at the beginning of the race, but. Struggling to get it turned in now. The gap is a second. Come on Yamaha, we can do this. Someone's just crashed. Tell you what, that gap is coming down. No, it's not turning in. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. Two laps to go. The Yamaha is misbehaving. It's not for Fabio, but it is for me. Not even pulling out a bit of a lead through Disturban anymore. Always on me. Sarko's just crashed. I am very concerned now. Very concerned. Can't get stopped for that corner, breaking where I used to. And it's just not happening. Chicane's not happening very well either. Final lap, can we hold on? I don't know what is going on, but yeah, 
feeling wise not good anymore. It just seems so slow. I think it's because we've worn out the right hand side of the... Oh, Fabio's through. I'll say that the front tyre is very much worn. And I can't tip in when I want. Trying to fight back, but no. Martin and Binder have just crashed. Oh, Fabio's down. Well, I think he's just gifted me this win, providing we stay on. He went a bit in, in too hot and uh, obviously didn't work out for him. Okay, we managed to hit that apex this time. There we go. It was close. Elise nearly got me at the end there, but yeah, Fabio going down. 31.925 for Elish. 31.892 for Marquez. Best lap. Dovi, my teammate, he got some points as well. 31.3. Oh dear. Quattararo. Been in it. Not good yet. He's dropped two positions now. Our lead is over. Bastianini moves up to second place now. Rins moves ahead into third as well. Oh dear. 22 point lead in the teams. And 43 in the constructors. Well, Fabio gifted me that one. We were in all sorts of troubles in that race. Fabio came past for a few corners. I tried to uh, to get him back, but he was just starting to, to get away. And through that left hand, he just went in too hot. Clipped the inside curve, which sent him wide. And then that was it. He was down. Down and out. So, 25 points to me. No points to Fabio. So... We go to Kimi Ring now with a decent lead. Kimi Ring is going to be difficult. It's, um... We'll, we'll be okay maybe on the first lap. It depends what we can do in turns 1, 2 and 3. We need to make up a few positions. We will be better than them on the back straight. On the first couple of laps they are so slow at breaking. Or so early on the brakes, even for the hairpin. But, um, yeah. We still might struggle to get into the lead. We'll see what happens. Okay. Can we do... We can do power. Thank you. Okay, advance the weeks. Kimmy Ring is next. So Kimi rank seven laps again. Please be dry. Yeah, again, white qualifying, but we're not doing that. Right, let's go. Right, this is one I never really look forward to. I'm going to go medium, medium again. Okay. So from the back, not a long run down to turn one. There we go. And go around the outside, but in a bit too hot there. Oh, try to get underneath Binder there. Nearly got into the lead. We are into second though. Yamaha 1-2 again. 
Just like your ass in. Fabio already looking behind him. I am here. I'm go gone wide. Psycho not able to get through. That's too hot into there. He's gone a bit defensive there as Fabio. I don't have a go into the final corner, although he's left the door wide open. Kind of, couldn't quite get through though, I had the wrong angle. Oh, he's going wide there. There we go. Doors open for him. Is he going to try? Is he going to try? No is the answer. He did not try. So we had a little battle with Fabio there. Thought he might have been able to sneak away a little bit, but he didn't. Like I said, this is a, a race I never really looked forward to. Not in the MotoGP category, anyway. I don't mind this track with Moto3 and Moto2. But MotoGP, it's uh, not that fun. So many corners you can lose the front at, including this final one here. Point six over Fabio. He's by himself at the moment. too hot. That corner always gets me. It's too hot in as well. So that's allowed Fabi to close back in now. Still by himself, which is good. I 
Right, he's not losing any time on, on that back straight anymore. He's got pace now. Which obviously is not ideal for me. That was my best lap. Not the fastest lap there. I'm assuming Fabio's got that. Still there, he's hanging around like a bad smell at the moment. So, whether I can hold on for another two and a half laps, probably not. I this oh that was a moment oh no he's still not through that's a trouble with this track as well doing you know same sort of laps around here as Assen this one seems to last longer it feels like it lasts longer I was gonna end up on the grass then wide My pace is going away. Oh dear, Zarko's going to join the party soon. I don't think this race is going to end well. Fabio through. Okay. I was meant to put the power mapping up to three, I ended up putting um, the traction control up to four by accident. wide not as wide as the previous lap though so we hold the lead okay we covered that off quite nicely there Okay, final lap. Just set the fastest lap of the race somehow. Don't know how the hell I managed to do that. Okay, that was bad into that.
Okay, we might be alright, you know. Or maybe not. Yeah, we should be okay now. We're gonna do it. That was uh, looking like uh, it was gonna be a bit of a tough one, and it was. 42.7. Fast slap of the race. No DNFs. That was a tough one. Especially when Fabio came through, I thought that was gonna be it. 32 point lead in the teams, 52 in the constructors. So, Park Fermate, top step of the podium again. That's what we like to see. Oh, good. Okay. That's how we do it. <sighs> that was a stressful race. Very stressful. All right. Yeah, as soon as Fabio came through, I thought, that's it. He's going to go, go now. He's going to disappear. Excellent. That was a good job done. Two race wins at tracks where we don't normally get them. So advance the week. That's not what I want to do. It's that one. Right, we've got our new electronics upgrade ready for Silverstone. Right, standings for all three categories. Moto3, it is Garcia who leads away five points ahead of his team at Guevara in second. Foggia drops down to third. Dennis on Chu in fourth and Suzuki in fifth. Moto2, Vietti still leads away 30 points over Chantra in second. Ayagura is back up to third. Tony Arbolino back down to fourth. And Joe Roberts in fifth. MotoGP, we've got a 77-point lead over Bastianini in second. Quattro is up to third, Rins down to fourth, and Miller in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you!